Alright guys, I'm going to show you how to install Viper ROM on your HTC Droid Incredible 2. I will provide a link in the description so you can download everything of course. First thing you're going to want to do is go over to the website, which when you first get there, of course it's XDA Developers. You can see Team Venom presents Viper for the Incredible 1.0.1 Sense 4. It may be a newer version though once like when you install this. so. Always be sure to check for the latest updates. Of course, to have a sweet picture because it's Viper ROM, because best ROM for HTC devices in my opinion. And you will see a whole bunch of tweaks that they have installed, or you can also just view the tweaks. If we go down to the downloads page right here, you see that you need to download three things. First thing you need to download is the full ROM, which is 1.0.0. .0 .0 you need to download the ICS firmware make sure to check the MD5 sums of all of these and then you need to download the 1.0.1 .1. is just a patch make sure you flash this over 1.0.0 .0 or you know you won't do anything because it's not a full ROM but once you do that if we scroll down you will, you will see installation instructions it says be sure to be S off or dev unlocked you need to install a custom recovery I have Clockwork mod, but since that's not listed, I'm guess I'm gonna go with Twerp. I don't really like Twerp recovery, but I'm gonna download it. So if we go over here, I found Twerp Touch Recovery 2.3.10. Um, you can download with Goo Manager, or you know you can just download the actual uh, image file. So it'll find your device. Incredible. Incredible 2, which is the Vivo, Vivo with the W. Um, the one without the W is the GSM variant, the European version. So we are going to want to go to this one and download it. You can see down here I already have it downloaded. But once we have that downloaded, we are just going to copy it over to. Well, this is you know, this is my SD card showing you guys that I have the full ROM, I have the patch and I have the ICS firmware installed. If you extract the ROM, well, right click it, then extract to, which is what I did, and that's why I have that. Or you can extract here, and everything will show up just here, or extract files, and you point anywhere to you want it to extract, but it's easier just to do that. I deleted the rest, like the system and all that, because we only need the boot image, so make sure you have that. But what we're going to want to do first, since we need that recovery, I'm going to open up a new one, go to my C drive, go to Android Tools. This is where I have ADB Fastboot. And this is the twerp recovery that I have. So if we go back, if you press and hold Shift and then right click, you can open a command window here, which makes it 20 times easier so you don't have to actually CD into this drive. Which is what I do. If you want to CD into this drive yourself, though, you know, it's your choice. You do what you want to do. So you're gonna to want to take your phone. Well, I'm mm -hmm. gonna take out my memory card because, of course, I have all the files. And we're gonna put the memory card back in the phone. And we are gonna press and hold volume down and power. Now, if you put that PG32 IMG um, on your SD card, block out, block out the background so it'll focus on the phone, then it's going to check and it is going to try to find that. But I took took it off the root because I'm going to do that you know, later. So I have it in my downloads folder. So once you're on Fastboot and Fastboot is highlighted, we are going to press the power button. And when we press the power button on Fastboot, not sure why it's not focusing. There we go. But you see that that says fast boot. So we're going to take our USB cable. It's plugged into the computer, of course. Make sure you have your drivers, which you, you mm -hmm. have to have your drivers if you, you know, rooted your phone or anything like that. You have to have ADB and all that. And you see now it says fast boot USB. So now that it says fast boot USB, we are going to go back to our computer. And right here we are going to type fastboot flash recovery 
and then the name of your recovery don't put name of recovery here because it's not <laughs> sorry I had so many people do this they actually put fast boot flash recovery name of recovery you need to put the actual name of your recovery that you are trying to flash you see mine it's open recovery twerp thing so I'm gonna type OP and then I'm just gonna hit tab because if you hit tab it fills it out for you and we're gonna hit enter sending recovery okay writing and then and then it finished so once we do that zoom back out we can unplug our phone mm -hmm. once we have the phone unplugged we can boot back into the bootloader by just pressing the power button while it's highlighted it's gonna check for the PG32 zip trying to get this to focus. We are going to go down to recovery and press power. Wait for this to boot up and see if we do have twerp recovery. I did have clockwork mod because that's my choice of recovery. You use whatever you want. And of course we have team win. So once we have this, what you're going to want to do first is go to wipe. We are going to go to factory reset. Make sure you create a backup first. We are going to go to swipe to wait. Formatting the data. Unable to mount SD card. What do you mean? I'm just going to go back and we are going to wipe cache. Swipe to wait done we're gonna go to wipe Dalvik cache swipe to wipe and where's system system is right here we're gonna click that and of course on system we are also going to swipe to wipe and if my galaxy nexus ever decides to focus back in focus on the recovery about time okay. now we're gonna go back and we're gonna go back and we're gonna go to install we're gonna go to our download why is it so small downloads and we are going to install the viper 1.0.0 oops I forgot about that folder there we go we want the .zip, not the actual folder. My bad. So make sure that is what we are flashing. And it is flashing now. I prefer the Clockwork Mod Touch. It, it's easier to touch them. Because, you know, my thumbs are kind of big. So, Ooh. And we have an Aroma Installer, which is kind of cool. I haven't seen one of these in a while. So I'm just going to click Next. Um, and it gives a whole bunch of ROM info. It's going to hit next. It says credit. A lot of credits. And I'm going to agree. So, uh, perform a full wipe. I did, but, you know, I'm going to do it again. Um, I am Verizon CDMA. I am in North America. Um, installs Venom Rosy Skin Theme is status bar. That kind of sounds cool though. I don't know if I want the stock sensor of that one. I think I'm going to go with that one. And hit next. I don't really want any of these. Well, I mean, I do want Google Search. But you want to deinstall. I don't want that. 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 Keep the HTC stuff because this is an HTC ROM. So, Soundhound, don't know what that is. Don't have a car dock. We want Adobe Flash, we want those. Gmail, YouTube, TuneIn Radio, don't want a PDF viewer. Um, install all HTC widgets, an example, Sync, Airplane. Eh. I'm alright, I'm going to leave that unchecked. 
Block adds, and that don't really matter. Inverted Viper animation, or White Brood animation. Use inverted version of Team Venom. Use... I prefer the White Brood animation, so I'm going to use that. And here we go, we are finally installing. So it's going to be erasing everything and installing everything. and I will be back when this is done flashing everything. So, Alright guys, and we are finished installing. So I'm just going to click next. And it says it has been successfully installed. So I'm going to go to finish. And we are going to go back. Or let's just go home actually. Now we are going to go back to install. And we are going to install the 1.0.1 .zip. Make sure that's what you're flashing of course. And we are going to flash. I don't know what I hit. So I can go back. Of course MD5. There is no MD5 in there. So I'm going to go back to that. And it's done. That was really quick. So we're going to go back home. And we're going to go to reboot. And we're going to go to reboot bootloader. Of course, because I am HTC dev unlocked, I'm not S off. If, if you are S off, S off, you can just reboot the system there. But I'm not, so reboot into the bootloader. And I'm going to take my USB cable, plug it back in. And as you see right there, we are in fast boot USB once more. It focuses. We are in fast boot USB. Just it's it's right there. So we are gonna put that down, and we are gonna go back to our file explorer or whatever you use. Go to documents, find Droid Incredible 2, then find the Viper 1.0, and hold Shift, and right click, and open the command window and go back you see I do have the boot image right there Actually, now you can see that I have the boot image right there so I'm gonna click and drag this and I'm gonna do fast boot flash boot then if you just type BO and hit tab it of course fills it out for you so it's just Fast boot flash boot boot dot img. Oh, I'm sorry, I got kind of cut off. I like, guess not. And then we are just going to press enter. So it's sending it, writing, and it's finished. So once we do this, we can actually exit out of everything. So I'm going to exit out and exit out and go back to our phone. Mm -hmm. Unplug the USB cable and put the back on it now that the back is on our phone I'm just gonna go there down to reboot and press power now we hope for the best and if we did everything successfully it should boot into the Viper ROM which is gonna take a bit to boot up so I will have my full review on this no worry it's just my really really long installing video you've seen a little snake it's kinda cool the inverted one is just gonna be black and then the one is gonna be white so it's just the inverted of this so I will be back when this boots up Alright guys, and we are just about to boot up. You see the lights on the bottom have just flashed. So here we are with the lock screen. It picked up service really quick actually. So let's just unlock. Yes, we are in the United States. Welcome to the setup wizard. Hit start. Install applications. Please wait while scanning SD card. I don't really, I have them backed up, so I'm just going to skip that. I don't have a working name. Oh, that's the Venom apps. So let's hit next. Uh, let's do Wi-Fi, because Verizon charges too much to use their data. Automatically sync. 
and I will connect to my Wi-Fi real quick. I don't need to learn how to use my keyboard. I know how to use it. I will be right back. All right, and we are connected to my Wi-Fi, so I'm just gonna hit next. And you see, like the red venom just kicked in, and it looks pretty sweet. I'll sign into that later. Uh, sure. Sorry about the kids in the background. My cat just kind of had them. Unfortunately, they're free. Just take them away, and you can have them. So, um, let's hit next. Next, sign into all this later, and finish. And it is processing. So what I noticed is that this is pretty smooth, actually. Loading up the home screen. All HTC phones take a minute to load up their home screen for some reason. This looks exactly the same as my HTC Sensation Viper ROM with like the wallpaper and the status bar. I don't know. We don't need quick tips. We know what we're doing. Wow, the red is just... So I'm loving the red. Whoa. So much red. So let's go back. Let's go to settings actually. It is starting up, so it is gonna be, you know a little slow starting up, but if we go to software information, you see we are running since since four point one. Wow, that's oh, shut up cat. I thought this was since 4.0, so that's pretty awesome. See, we have Venom Tweaks. And the cat finally shut up. So I am back. And I had a chance to kind of look at the theme. I don't really know if I like the icons. So I may try to change it back to the, uh, like the default Sense UI. Well, let's just try the camera. See how the camera works. Do you have first shot? Oh. So we actually have the burst mode. Oh, it only took two though. It's that's still pretty cool though. Like we we have burst shot, just like the HTC One X, Evo 4 GLTE, and every other phone, just like that. But this was my little quick how to in well not really quick, but my how to install Viper ROM on your HTC Droid Incredible 2. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you want to see my full review, make sure you subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video.